Arpius was a, a singer, poet, a flute player, and uh, Eurydice or Eurydice was uh, his uh, consort. And, and she died and went to Hades, went to the nether world, and Orpheus went down there to retrieve her because of his love. He thought he could bring her out of Hades if he wouldn't look back. So the poet, you see, in the uh, ancient days was a, like a shaman, uh, a psychic, an extraordinary character, not uh, participating in the marketplace in the ordinary way. Uh, it's the tradition of the artist, the being who uh, can, by virtue of that sacrifice, keep everyone associated with the great reality, the great heart, the great feeling, the great disposition. I was considering the other day was uh, beauty, how the sense of the beautiful has been lost in uh, the uh, contemporary art. The uh, idea of what is beautiful, it seems to me, has been reduced to something about the appearance of someone or something. Structure is the basis mm -hmm. of uh, any, anything that we can call art. But it seems to me that uh, the beautiful is certainly a fundamental subject of the arts, even where uh, something apparently ugly may be represented uh, traditionally. Even that performance was associated with the feeling of the beautiful somehow, mysteriously. something beautiful then. It seems to me that only that which is loved is beautiful. That no form, however comely, or however it may uh, conform to some system of uh, structure and so forth, is truly beautiful if it is not also loved. truly is a sacred performer the true artist must be this and he must do that magic act that uh, causes others to participate in manifest reality in the sacred sense or in the sense of love in the sense of uh, self-transcendence of ecstasy <laughs> <laughs> 